Hey guys, how we going? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the brand new year 2020. If I haven't said it before, I'm going to say it again. Happy new, new year to everyone that watches my videos. I hope you guys will have an excellent and eventful 2020 all for the good reasons of course so what we're going to do today is we're going to get into it i want to do one canyon trial uh wave or run however you guys want to put it and basically i just want to complete the quest towards completing the christmas tree yes i haven't finished the christmas tree just yet unfortunately i do really want to finish it to be perfectly honest with you as much as i'm trying and doing my part to do what I need to do to get the Christmas tree done I don't think I'm going to get there and it's just a combination of things you know including you know real world life stuff and things like that that prevents me from actually sitting down playing the game and trying to nut out um, the Christmas tree I know a lot of you guys have actually done that so you guys are awesome for doing so um, but for myself unfortunately I don't know if I'm going to get there. I have had some time off work over the holiday period, which is really good for me. And I really want to sort of take that time to sort of relax as well with my partner and also just enjoy the, um, the holiday period. Notoriously for myself in the previous years, I've always worked right through the holiday period. So it's just the fact that I've had some time off now over, the, uh, over this period. I just really wanted to... Um, just chill out and not do anything at all but also i tried to do what i could with um you know playing games and getting myself back up to date with things as well so that was pretty much what i really wanted to sort of get out um you know right off the bat um so let's go ahead and finish that one there um let's go ahead and confirm that um cool i'm going to proceed with that let's take that did they show up my inventory they did not that's all good Christmas trial updated so let's get on to it and we'll head off to the Christmas land and we'll um, finish off that little quest let's feed up our little horsey as well there we go he's nice and full so he's ready to go ahead off onto another adventure um, I have been running him a little bit on the leaner side as of late I have actually had to spend some coinage just to get some more oats um, oats unfortunately are not as easy to come by as they have been in the past which is really annoying yes it does sort of slow down the game progression for a lot of people in that respect and obviously requiring you to use your own energy um, as a mixture as uh, more prominent than what you would use um, the horse you can get oats through you know zones here or there if you're lucky also if you do um, and prevent, uh, sorry, prevent the raid from happening on your base once you've annoyed the raiders. So there's little things like that um, that you'll have as an option there. Um, so we are getting quite a sizable amount of bits and pieces as well. I've got some tinsel there, which is good. Uh, Christmas bells, um, canes, and I've got some common tubes as well. So we're nearly up to 10 uncommon tubes as well, which is really good. I'm nearly up to where I want to be with um, regards to doing a mass uh, unboxing or unlooting, if you will, on the um, uh, leader of baddies. Actually, let's do this. Uh, defeat the spirit cave boss, go back to Mark. Um, we might actually end up doing that. Um, we'll see how we go in the video here. Um, finish the current quest. Okay, I don't know what current quest I actually have it going on at the minute. Um, so, complete one contract. Okay. So, I do need to do a bit of that and then the Spirit Cave boss. Has the Spirit Cave actually reset? I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. Um, I do probably need to drop off home real quick and quickly go into um, the... Uh, base actually and then find out if I need to uh, restock. I think I've got some more uh, weapons and things like that that I can use. Uh, okay, Spirit Cave has been reset since the last time I played. So you know what, we'll quickly go over there and see how we do with that one there because I really want to get those ornaments um, as soon as possible. Um, I think I might maybe need two, maybe three weapons. We'll see how we go. Um, but let's see what we've got back at base. I did like to think I actually did craft a few but um, if I haven't then I might not be able to do it so we'll see how that sort of plays itself out okay it looks like I've got the necessary um, firepower in order for me to do the mission at hand which shouldn't be much of a problem for me um, food wise yeah it's gonna be a little bit sketchy 
with food. So what I might do is I might just grab a few of these. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And um, you know what? I really should have converted these things as well. What I might do is these offer a decent amount of heal. So I might actually end up using those. Why not? Um, but what we're going to do is I'm not actually going to clear the whole spirit cave. I'm just going to go in and do what I need to do um, real quick without having any sort of problems. Uh, so let's just go boom, boom, boom. And just get ourselves back up to 100 health for heals um, and also uh, food and water basically. But let's go and actually you know what, what I should have done is I should have given you a bit of a progress um, update. Um, of my Christmas tree, so let's uh, um, wait for that to load and we'll load back in, which I probably should have done that in the first place, but it is what it is. Um, I shouldn't have too much of a problem running into the spirit cave. Shouldn't be that much of an issue, to be honest with you. Um, but let's just get into back into here. So as you can see, a little bit more progression, uh, probably from the last time that you may have seen it. Um, so it's realistically these things here and then onto the Christmas candle. So if I do end up finishing um, the spirit cave there, that's gonna put me right into the firing line to get the candles, but I haven't had any candle um, opportunities, which is a real pain because these are some of the things that I really don't need, aside from that, of course. Um, and then I've got some reserves over here happening. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of stack of um, uh, tubes to go through uh, soon enough, but right now, um, the focus is trying to get the um, those little horses for, uh, to finish up the ornaments, really. So we're we're basically, you know, kind of getting there. Now I did may have already explained this in my previous video. Um, I think I said off um, I did an off camera run of the spirit cave. Anyway, um, I wasn't able to find any uh, decorations from. Uh, enemies in terms of loot drops or if even any um, unboxings or anything like that uh, chess wise so it is what it is so um, it's just more or less just defeating the boss and um, then running back and then finishing off the actual uh, quest itself so let's um, thank you load in <laughs> of course and we'll quickly dart into here and we'll try and finish this off as soon as possible. Um, so, with um, with everything, all that being said and done, we're actually near uh, January 7th. Now, January 7th means that the Christmas theme will be switched off. So, meaning that we won't have any um, uh, Christmas theme um, anything, whether or not they, the developers uh, decide to extend it. Um, that'll be, you know, something that would be of interest for a lot of people, I would imagine, if they haven't actually finished off their little quest um, for completing the Christmas tree like myself. So uh, whether that will happen or not, that I'm not too sure. You know what, I don't know why I'm going through the basic chest here. I'm actually just going to go through and just go to the main boss. I just want to grab some of the bigger chests just to see if there's anything of interest in here. Um, <laughs> to be honest, there's really not much of anything. Um, that's making their way through for me so you know what they actually should add an element or a mechanic in the game um, now I've been thinking about this as well for a, a lot of reasons and I'm getting this idea from another game that I play so I have ventured onto um, some PC gaming as well for those that haven't actually watched any of my PC videos it's only one to be honest but it's a, a game called seven days to die now if you have heard of that game there, you know it is a post-apocalyptic uh, post zombie survival based game. It is a sandbox style game as well. So um, in a way, in a nutshell, that I can sort of probably would um, digest a lot of people for, possibly my younger viewers as well, is think of Minecraft but with zombies and guns, weaponry, looting, all that sort of good stuff. That's probably the best analogy I can probably um, portray what the game is. Um, a lot of people would have other opinions on it, but that's what that's the first thing that comes to mind for me when I think of um, uh, how do I sort of um, describe Seven Days to Die. But I digress. the The reason that I pull up that as a um, uh, as a talking point is if there is an option 
we should have a perk or an ability that we should be able to grind out ourselves in the game to achieve um, the version of what you would call um, lucky looting. So what I mean by that is in the in Seven Days to Die, there's a um, a skill tree that you can adopt um, by claiming points when you level up, and you can buy into a um, a tree, and one of them is uh, Lucky Looter. And what that basically does is it grants you a greater chance when you're looting um, places or whatever it might be. Um, uh, caves are clear, clear all the monsters out there. So you actually have to clear all the monsters. Are you serious? I really don't want to do that. Uh, okay, let's just quickly speed run through this and we'll finish this off as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, so basically the, the more that you speak into it, the greater chance that you might have to um, find yourself uh, better loot. So I would like to think that that should be something that could be implemented into, um, say, Westland or even any other survival game on a mobile platform. Um, that's just my opinion on it. I just think that might be something really cool um, for a lot of people to sort of, you know, utilize and harness. And obviously not making it too easy for people to actually obtain. And then obviously it sort of makes the game, um, you know, boring and um, it's stagnant. So there's something obviously that you really don't want to do. But um, I just feel that might be something that might, um, that might excel for, you know, the, the game itself. Um, because a lot of people obviously complain that you don't get um, really good loot, especially when you're in the spirit cave. I know they did do a bit of a rebalance recently to get better loot into these type of areas. I haven't tried hard mode yet, so I don't know what type of loot that will drop in the hard mode um, offering for the spirit cave. So if you guys know, let me know if there is a significant, uh, significant change in doing um, hard mode for the spirit cave there. Can I go through? Yes, I can. Um, but yeah, that's what I was thinking that might be a, a really good option for, you know, the developers to kind of consider. Just to sort of give us a little bit, something more to sort of work for, work, to, uh, work towards too. And I think, you know, something like this may be a, um, a better uh, experience. Um, that's probably what, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about that. Um, you know, should the developers look into something like um, like a skill tree system where you can spec into certain things. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Um, so right now we are pretty much three quarters, if not, well, probably a little bit more than three quarters of the way through getting towards the um, final part of this uh, little spirit cave run. It definitely helps when you do have a decently spec'd weapon um, that you've got here to, you know, uh, keep your, your way through quite easily. I'm interested to know once we start opening up all those tubes there, uh, what type of, um, you know, uh, perks that I might be able to unlock and, you know, what abilities that I might have. So you can definitely utilize the, um, uh, the lucky loot system within that type of, um, you know, uh, tube system. So you know, it makes all the sense in the world to possibly, you know, uh, actually do that. So I think that might be a, um, a good way of actually, you know, sort of implementing it in that sort of tone. So I figured that might be a good option. So now that I think about it a little bit, why not use the tube system and you might want to say, maybe put uncommon to rare, um, and then you might be able to bump up your, your ability or your luckiness to find better loot when you're opening up these kind of chests. I know these are sort of a, are randomized and things like that, so it is what it is, but um, why not? So, you know, obviously you can't sort of make it as an infinite amount of, um, uh, you know, specking into kind of thing. There's obviously going to be, you know, some sort of threshold that needs to be, you know, capped. So I think that way that'll allow the developers to sort of, you know, put the brakes on things if need be, um, but otherwise, yeah, that's, um, I think that might be a good way of doing it, using um, the new tube uh, blueprint system, you know, learning to be more lucky or something like that, or even using the, um, the tribal elders there in the northern zones to give you lucky rings or something like that to boost and give you the ability to find um, better loot. 
you know, especially when you go to places like the Spirit Cave, maybe they should apply in certain areas, say like Four Skull or Greater or something like that, just to sort of entice players to go into these zones a lot more um, than, you know, what you guys currently are, instead of just farming basic zones and things like that. So I guess that'd be a good way of doing it, you know, for a lot of people to, um, uh, to sort of go down that pathway. But again, this is just a, um, a, a thought, a pretty long thought, I probably, um, you know, now, now that I'm looking at the time of where, where I'm at in the video here. So, yeah, I just figured that might be something that might be of interest for a lot of people. But again, let me know your thoughts um, down in the comment section below. So, let's jump back onto our little horsey here. We do have a few things to drop off. What I might go ahead and do is I might actually make a pit stop back at base, um, grab one of the bounties do the bounties and um, go back to the Christmas area and claim on both and I think that might be a good way to um, finish off the video by doing a quick little bounty so let's quickly jump back into home base drop off a few things what I really need to do is I need to make a communal drop chest especially when I'm doing videos I can just dump everything into one little um, chest and then basically sort it out one when I'm off camera I think that's something I really need to do and I haven't quite sort of done that I've been making some of these chests um, those said drop chests um, but they are sort of getting quite full I mean what's sort of kind of easy in a way that the, the store the store restoring all feature does sort of work into its own element there by sort of you know dropping a few things here and there especially when you've got things uh, filled up and if you do have anything that you can drop in um, you can sort of just quickly drop a few things and then, you know, away you go in that sense there. Um, but then when you get full, <laughs> you obviously got to, uh, you need to upgrade workstations, things like that. Or, like what I'm doing is furiously running around to try and find little nooks and areas to drop a few things in here. So, yeah, there's... There's a few things that, you know, you sort of want to quickly drop in, but otherwise you can't really sort of do it the way that you really want it to do. But uh, let's just drop a few of these in here. And I've just got these things here. I'll keep that with me. Keep the guns with me as well. And I think I've got some places in here that I can sort of drop. Yes, I can. All right. Oop. And I want to drop you in there. Perfect. All right. Let's check out the, the board here. Um, so, what have we got here? Ooh, yeah, alright, let's do that. And there you go, bounties. A full stack of seeds. Definitely something that I haven't, <coughs> excuse me, haven't actually um, experienced in a little while. So, um, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and do it real quick. Now, I'm actually a little bit worried about this because... I don't know whether or not I should have done the um, the quest first. Oh, sorry, the um, accept the quest first, then go back to the Christmas zone, and then accept. I, I get confused because I know I've done it once or twice where I have accepted a bounty quest or wanted to do the bounty quest, and then it tells me that I can track the quest, but it, I, I never get to receive the rewards. I don't know if I'm doing it the wrong way. I have I have actually completed the quest before, or a quest before, but um, yeah, it's really, really odd, and I don't, I don't understand sometimes where it doesn't actually allow me to get um, the, uh, the quest completed properly. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what am I doing wrong, and quickest way that I can fix it, and that's basically it. That's all I want, I really want to know, um, if if possible, I guess. But, um, oh, did I get it all? No, I haven't. So one more piece it needs to be. And then we can sort of get this one done and sorted. Um, okay, they're all just coyotes here. I did do see another little Christmas um, present down there in the mini-map. There we go, all three, boom. Got the map fragment done. Let's just pop these guys and open up this little present there. I think that would be it. Um, I'm not too sure if there is a Grinch minion in this zone. Um, they do tend to more pop up on the, um, again, four skull zones. 
and you're lucky that you can what you can probably achieve in those type of zones is four um, Christmas presents that you can uh, unwrap and two uh, Grinch minions that you can find in each zones if you guys are on the luckier side because sometimes you don't always get that and which is a bit of a pain so there's only yeah okay so I don't think I would have any more uh, area to cover here I'm just gonna quickly go to the corner and okay not gonna bother with that let's go ahead and read it let's go find his location and go ahead and claim run back finish it off and I think that's gonna be a video today for us okay um, let's I'm waiting for this to low I don't know for whatever reason I feel like my phone is getting slower with the games I reckon they were a little bit well the phone was a little bit more quicker you know a few months back and over time I didn't really sort of bother with it I guess um, but especially when I noticed that I know that games that don't take long to load are taking significantly longer to load than I feel now I don't know whether it's just Westland or any other games that I'm playing um, that might have the similar effect or if it's the fact that the game itself is taking longer to load for a lot of you guys. So let me know in the comments if that's a thing, if it's just me, or are you guys experiencing um, uh, longer uh, loading times and things like that. I am using a relatively um, later model device. So it is a Samsung, it's a Galaxy Note 8, which I feel like it is a pretty decent phone still, um, you know, in today's, I guess, technology world. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Let me know, guys. I am considering upgrading. I don't know whether or not will I do it uh, when the new Samsungs arrive or do I, do I wait towards the end, end of the year for the next Galaxy Note. Um, if that would be a thing. I'm not going to get into tech rumors or anything like that. That's not what this channel is all about. But I figured I might just sort of, you know, bring that up and just see what you guys think as well. So, yeah, let me know if it's just me or are you guys actually experiencing uh, similar uh, to what I am, you know, in terms of loading times. It doesn't seem to be too bad here, but there are some sore spots where it does load in, especially when you're first loading into the game. Now, I don't know if that's server related. I guess that could be server related. Um, that's probably a really good point to bring up. So, yeah, not too sure. But let's quickly go over here and finish off the quest. I'm hoping that I've done it right this time. And, oops. And see our buddy, the, the sheriff. And, okay, cool. All right, Christmas order done as well. All right, let's go back, do the double whammy, climb up on both um, uh, the Canyon Trial, oh, sorry, not the Canyon Trial, Spirit Cave, and the Bounty that we've just completed now. So, actually made good progress today. Really, really quick one. Um, we've got a few things done pretty much off the bat today, so really not too bad at all, if I don't say my, so myself. Uh, burnt half of my oats, which is probably not the best thing, so let's go ahead and use up some energy today and uh, run across over here. And I do have some bits and pieces in my inventory for things that I could redeem. Um, so I've got Christmas bells and some Christmas canes. I don't think I have much in my inventory here to make it a difference, but, you know, we'll see how that sort of goes. But we, we are getting really, really close um, to finishing it off, so once I get these little horse ornaments here, three more to go, I'll have that all wrapped up, and then it's just focusing on candles. But I need to find missions with candles. That's the problem. That is the problem. So let's go ahead and complete that. Now, he won't have anything for me today, unfortunately. Yep, I have to come back the following day. Uh, let's complete that. Do the same thing. I wish they had, you know, I wish they sort of allow us to do multiple of these things. Which is, you know, really, really, really annoying. But what can you do? Um, okay, so I'll need some baubles and things like that to get this guy up here. Because the Christmas stars, <coughs> excuse me, are a bit of a problem for me as well. Because I'm not getting a lot of them. I really, I really shot myself in the foot the other video where I basically used them all and funneled them into here, which was a big mistake on my part. Shouldn't have done that, but it is what it is. 
but I'm hoping I can sort of get this done a lot sooner rather than later. Do have a bit of um, bells as well in my inventory that you sort of notice, so at least we've got that happening. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is uh, let's open up this and grab that. Drop it into here. Three more away and we can focus on candles. So that's it guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought about it. Um, hit the like button, hit the share button as well. And um, so consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, if you are new to the channel. Check out all the other nice survival games that I'm also playing as well. And I'm sure you guys will like them just as well as you like this game. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.